Hey everybody and welcome back to my English Space. In today's video, we are going to learn together 10 expressions with the word mind, which is very casual and very, very often used by everyone, right? Let's see. Can you keep in mind all of these expressions? <laughs> Look, you already have one, so get ready with a pen and some paper so that you don't forget this. Well, let's get started. Number one, to sleep your mind. When something slips your mind, you just forget it. So I hope it doesn't slip your mind that you'll have to take your coat to the dry cleaners today. <laughs> Or, oh, I'm so sorry about that garbage. Is that why it was smelling so badly in here? It just slipped my mind to take it out. <laughs> so bad. So bad smelling. Number two, it's to speak your mind. To speak your mind means to just say openly or frankly what you have to say. What you think, right? I just hate people speaking about me behind my back. I'd rather they just uh, spoke their mind. In today's society, people are afraid to speak their mind because they might be judged. On to number three, it's to bear or keep in mind. Bear, if you bear or keep something in mind, it means that you remember it. And I invite you here to check out another video of mine where I talked about memory. So it's something linked to this video here. So here's another chance for you to improve your vocabulary. Let's see an example with uh, bear in mind and that'll be please everyone keep in mind this, uh, the deadline for this exam is coming right up so be sure not to miss it. Next we have cross your mind. Cross one's mind. Of course you should use the possessive adjective you know just according to your needs. If something crosses your mind, it just comes into your thoughts as a possibility. Let's see. Has it ever crossed your mind that you could uh, sign up for a swimming club? Or it has never crossed my mind that I could do drama, actually. Next, at number five, we have give someone a piece of your mind. Hmm, what could that mean? Give someone a piece of your mind. Oh, how I love this one. It means to tell someone that you're angry with them. Wow, it sounds so interesting. I don't know if there's, uh, uh, there's any chance that you could have thought about it, but that's what it means. So we could say about your colleague, your work colleague, that... You will give them a piece of your mind uh, just because they've um, spilled your coffee. I will give Jamie a piece of my mind just because he has spilled my coffee. I mean, I'm so angry with him. I feel like I'm running out of steam now and I need some energy boost. Where's my coffee? I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind, you know. On to lose your mind. To lose your mind means to just go mad or crazy about something. Have you lost your mind to talk to your boss like this? Have you really lost your mind? <laughs> Next, we have to read someone's mind. To read someone's mind. It means to try to guess what someone is thinking or just have the same idea as theirs. If I read my teacher's mind well today, I don't think we'll get a test today. At number eight, we have take your mind off something. Take your mind off something is when you get to detach yourself from the problems of the day or just stop thinking about them. So do you know when I really get to take my mind off things? When, of course, I'm in the comfort of my home or, or when I get to take a walk. I just 
love going outside and just walk <laughs> like it's uh it's pure joy for me it's the joy of life to to go walking it takes my mind off things off the problems school problems that's that's it at number nine we have peace of mind peace of mind that's so beautiful it's of course similar to one of the previous ones where I've used the verb to give someone a peace of mind but this one used independently without the verb is different is totally opposite it means to be in a state of tranquility with no worries no problems just peace inside your mind all I want when we break off for the summer holidays all I want is peace of mind I want to be left alone I don't want to think about school anymore work and the daily hassle or another very good example is about the weekend when the weekend starts I don't want to hear the buzz of the WhatsApp groups all I want is peace of mind peace of mind <laughs> so I want no more distractions yeah like phone distractions peace of mind is all I'm asking for how about you what's your peace of mind what does your peace of mind translate into and today's last expression is not in your right mind not in your right mind which means not acting or behaving in a logical or sensible way and we could say it and uh, use it in the following situation how can you say that i've cheated that i just picked into your test you were not in your mind i am a smart girl myself and i've learned at home too <laughs> These are all of my examples and my explanations for you today. Now it's over to you. Of course, remember that you'll have to practice daily so you can get to see some improvement with your English so that you can level up your English. And if that's the case, be sure to keep following my channel. And if you're not a subscriber of mine, please press that subscribe button down below right now with notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for following through. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'm waiting for you here next time as well. Bye.